hello and welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to download hdri sky images for 100 percent free you are not paying a single dime for it and also from this website you can also still download some cool materials which you would like to use and also some cool components if you would like any of them there this is the website that I use and if you watch this video to the end, you would see how to make use of this same website and also how to apply those HDRI Sky materials that you have um, downloaded to your D5 render scenes. If this is your first time joining our channel, welcome. My name is Grant and in this channel, we dish out interesting architecture related content. Please do well to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notifications when next we publish a new video. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, for us to download HDRI Skies, there's a particular website I normally use and I'm going to be telling you the name of that website. So what you need to do is to make sure you are connected to the internet first of all, as you can see here. Then you head to your Chrome browser. Once your Chrome is open, you search for polyhaven dot com polyhaven h-a-v-e-n polyhaven dot com okay now you wait for it to load if you have a very strong internet connection it's going to load pretty pretty fast fast so now this is the website polyhaven.com and now you can see you can see hdri here you can see texture here which uh, are material pbr materials if you like any you can download them and use them they are pretty cool and you can also see models so you can search for whatever model you want if it is in this website you can download it and use it now but for this tutorial video we're going to be talking about hdri skies so we're going to be downloading and using hdri skies so that you know how to create your own sky background customize it and to, to your taste you understand now we move over to the hdri sky that you click on this now you can see a lot of uh a lot of them you have outdoor you have sky you have indoor you have studio sunrise night and so on and so forth you can keep going nature urban you understand so now it depends on you to to know what you are looking for and just download it for free i already downloaded a couple that i'm going to be using in this tutorial video but i'm still going to show you how you can download if you were to download anyone now let's move over to the outdoor now you can see so you can see this cool sky here you can see this sky you can see this cool sky you can look at all of them they are very very cool they are nice they are, they, they are not bad is when you start using them then you would see the effect it would give on your uh, render scene and decide if oh it's, it's actually lovely or not so let's let's take for instance want to download this once you click on this you've opened it i just click on download you can see download there 100 mb you click on download and it automatically starts downloading as you can see on top here for free no two ways just download and use for free although they also have uh, a place where you can uh, tip them off uh, support them uh -huh, support them in case uh, in case you feel like because because um for someone to give you this it's it's really really cool so now that we have downloaded one um hdri image now let's head over to d5 and let me show you how you can make use of them so you open your d5 software d5 takes a little bit of time for it to open so you, i'll just have to skip some of these parts so cancel no i'm not ready for the update yet you click on recent so let me use this my uh, this projects that i've been working on as uh the video at this, for this for the example for this tutorial video okay good now this is our d5 scene that we have created that we just opened i want to use it as example for this our hdri tutorial video now this is a d5 scene now you can see i made use of the normal um, geo sky geo and sky here which is the normal d5 sky so you can adjust this you know you know the, the way you go about it adjust it and tweak it move it this way move it this the sun direction the amount of cloud you want you can you can walk your way around this which is cool but in a situation where you don't want to use this geo geo sky there are also hdris that you can use and d5 
also give us default HDRIs that we can use. You know, D5 is so general. So we you can see the defaults. You have clear sunny, you wait for it to load, it shows you up. Then you have cloudy, you wait for it to load, it shows up. You have cloudy too, you wait for it to load, you know, it shows up. Oh, you see? Then you have early morning, you have midday, midday too, party sunny, pure white. So there are a lot of um, HDRIs that you can use here. Now, if you've gone through all these and you still feel like uh, they are not giving you what you want, that you want to add your own custom HDRI, now, this is where you pay attention to this video. Now, under this default, once you click on this, you can see custom. Now, once you click on custom, there are a lot of custom HDRI that I have used over the past years that I have added here. You understand? So, I can click on this and it will come out. You see the HDRI. You see how it looks like you can still work with it. Now, you can see this has this building over here, which uh, is not. I don't really like this. So, I will, I will delete this from my... Um, from my gallery so now for us to create our own new custom hdri what we need to do is to click on this plus sign here now once you see this plus sign you click on this plus sign then it takes you to your downloads or wherever then you just go to where you downloaded uh those hdris now you can see i had downloaded this four then this was the last one i downloaded on this tutorial video to show you as example so let's say we're going to be making use of this one now you click on this you click on ok you wait for it to load good now this is the hdri this is the sky now you can also click uh, work with the rotate um, the sun angle sun direction you know to 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 give it that perfect scene that you're looking for you can also work with the temperature make it cool or make it warm depends on you if you still want to attach sun to this to make your sun visible you click on sunlight then you'd see it properly you understand then you can decide on the intensity of the sun if you want it to be too bright if you want it to be too to be low all these things just depends on you now you can see under here follow hdri or custom now follow hdri means because this hdri that you just uh, imported here it has its own um settings so this means do you want to follow the settings the hdri came with or do you want to customize your own settings now if you leave it on this it's going to follow the settings the hdri came with but if you want to customize your own settings just click on custom then you can decide to tweak your sun parts your sun height uh sun height sun uh, the uh, uh direction you know and oh you can decide to to, to touch that a little bit if the uh the 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 one that came with the hdri is not giving you what you want and once you feel okay if you've touched it and you feel like oh okay this is cool this is what i want then you can update your scene by pressing this update scene here you can update your scene and now let's see the difference you see this scene and you see scene two okay now you can see so the difference is there it just depends on what you want now this is for the day scene i think i also downloaded a night uh, hdri so let's add that and let's see how how it looks so you click on this i think is this or this i think this one is it so we wait for it to load and this is it so you just have to work with okay follow hdri okay and turn off your sun uh, because we don't want our sun in the night okay so now that we have our sun turned off now you can just click on work with this your rotate and you know you see what it gives you you see this is a kind of evening scene you can reduce the lights you know aha uh -huh, to get what you want very well you see so you can you can just work with this walk around it and get the the perfect uh scene for your renders so this is how to create uh your custom customize your hdri for whatever scene you would like to create if you found this video helpful do well to hit the like button subscribe to our channel don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video see you guys on the next video